Hey man, come on. Go. Hi, I'm James from Tesseract. Hi, I'm Dan from Tesseract. And welcome to our home for the next month and a half. You may have seen the last one we did, which was on a bandwagon. We have luckily upgraded to this rather lovely, comfortable vehicle. We're very spoiled at the minute. Uh, this is the first tour uh, for our new album, War of Being, which came out in September. And uh, the first four shows have been pretty awesome. Long way to go. It's a big seven week tour around North America. And uh, yeah, super stoked about it. Cool, so we have uh, three different TVs. We've got two in the main lounge. This whole area actually um, pushes outwards when we uh, get parked in a big enough area, which uh, creates loads more space, which is fantastic. All the lights are adjustable. We also have an incredible microwave that actually doubles up as an oven. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Never seen one of those in my life, but hey. And we've not even used it, but it's amazing. <laughs> So the telly is on for most of the day when we're travelling and it's just standard television. Uh, we might flick on the odd film, I think we were watching Lord of the Rings yesterday. But um, every bunk has its own TV as well that flips down your bunk so you can decide to you know, watch whatever you like. But uh, most of us um, ga are games, so myself and Jay, we've got a Steam Deck each and I've got my VR headset and I've got the back room all to myself most of the day because people enjoy being in this area next to the coffee machine so I get to escape in the back. And we have loads of storage, which if I show you, we haven't worked out how to use yet. <coughs> there is nothing. We so were just saying we should probably use these. That's a great, use them. great space to put everyone's shoes, right? Uh, oh, there we go. Somebody's thinking ahead. Oh, there we'll we do. go. Um, always got a surplus of water around on the coach. Want uh, to keep hydrated. All the different areas. So here, ah, some rather dangerous-looking donuts. Reese's Puffs. My kids would love those. They're not getting them. What do we have in here? got some honey, we have some hot sauce. It's a bit of a mess oh. to be honest. Uh, tea of course because we're English. We also seem to have an abundance of avocados. Like every show we get given a whole bunch and they just end up on the coach and nobody eats them. So. Oh yeah, I had one earlier. Smash a bit on a bit. Oh, you've got a, a few more to eat there mate. So as you can see we are rigged up for the coffee. Um, we're all big coffee drinkers. Amos loves his pour over, and that's a bit of a science if anyone knows anything about coffee. But we always make sure that we have um, as many awesome utensils as possible when it comes to coffee making. We've got the big grinder because we all like to have different measurements, different strengths of coffee. Uh, and here is the Holy Grail, which is the, uh, the Casa Brews coffee machine which is what I've been using every day so far and annoying everybody with the sound of it when you start getting the steam going. So once we've utilised the red solo cup, it's going to go into a better cup, not too much better. And then we're going to get some steam cracking and this is how you annoy your bandmates in the morning when you get a nice bit of steam going. Come on, give me the magic. Slow to the takeoff. It's a beautiful sound. Everybody loves this first thing in the morning. It's going to take a good couple of minutes of high pressure. It's not the best. It'll do for me though. And also the toaster. I don't know who that belongs to, but we have one. So um, I think someone's been enjoying it because there are crumbs everywhere. This is our leftover pizza from last night. They're not my bananas. They need thrown away. They've gone. And uh, that Papa John's pizzas, man. Mm, they are the... insane. Maybe we can... Um... Demonstrate the, uh, the the trash. This, this shoot. is a great trash shoot. Check this out. See ya. And it's gone. No mess, no smell. That's how we like it. Oh, very very important. Beer caller number one. Let's stress number one. We like we like beer. We like local beers. Yeah. Very keen to try beers from wherever we go. Um, IPAs, sours, all sorts of things really. Um, so. Yeah, we're, we're, we're big IPA drinkers, um, we like all the varieties. I'm quite particular on, um, on India Pale Ales, so I love to try all of those. And also I'm quite partial to a bit of mead. <laughs> Check this out. So we also have our Huel set up, myself, Jay and our tour manager are all Huel heads. So it's just a really great thing if you're short on food one day or if you're travelling a long distance and you can crack a shake and it just fills you up, it's great. And the fridge, which to begin with, nobody could actually open, and it took us ages to figure out. You have to lift that up and pull it open. What do we got here? We got some dad's root beer, um, all the different milks, 
plethora of cheeses, cream cheese, guacamole, uh, red pepper spreads, and lots of different um, uh, like ve vegan meats. So yeah, not not a great deal in there really. It's pretty much the leftovers of every rider that we have at, um, at most shows. It will always make its way mm. into the fridge. Green baby bells. Have you ever seen those before? I'm not familiar. I'll try one. Fair play. Oh, it is. It's a freezer. So obviously we're not using this at the minute. Again, we're actually discovering things. This is quite a luxury. A toilet. Nice and clean. It's got its little sink. Yeah, pretty much a toilet. Bathroom rules basically don't flush any paper and don't do the number two in there because it will block the pipes. Um, and if you use the sink, wipe up after yourself because there's nothing worse than going into a dirty sink full of water everywhere when you're in your socks first thing in the morning. So we're all quite cleanly people. Um, we do try to make sure that we uh, tidy up all the time. So the bunks are a little bit messy. We have uh, 12 bunks all together. Um, this is mine. A bit crummy in there. I must have been had a few midnight cookies. Um, but no, you have your own telly that pops out. When you're lying in bed, you can watch whatever you like. Um, USB sockets, plug, plug sockets, and uh, we basically use bunks to sleep in. Um, whenever uh, I'm travelling on a coach, I always take the middle bunk. Uh, I can't stand to be on the floor. I'm just a bit phobic of germs and things and feet in general so I like to get off the floor and get in the middle bunk and also you can roll straight out of bed you're one foot away and you're stood up whereas if you're climbing out of these you need to basically abseil um, and also if you're on the top bunk you get a bit more sway when the bus is rocking I suppose there is an advantage to the bottom because you're not getting as much sway I just find like the middle one's a bit of a happy ground so what about you James? Well I'm here with my bunk, I took a top bunk I'm actually not really fast where I go, but because of my um, height advantage, I politely always go top because it's easy for me to get in and out. Um, it's fairly messy. Um, but below me is the junk bunk. This is a spare bunk that nobody uses, so we kind of use it for chucking various bags and stuff. In fact, Ariel, our merch person's left her dirty pants here, which we can look at. <laughs> Sorry, Ariel. <laughs> okay, we're now in the back lounge, and the first most important thing here is the second beer cooler. It's looking a little bit, a little bit empty actually, it needs more ice. I'll get to work on that later. This area is normally a bit tidier. Uh, I normally take charge of the back here because nobody really likes to be next to the engine because it's pretty noisy in here. But I've got a decent pair of headphones and I'll sit and play on my steam deck. And also, we can close the doors so they're soundproofed. And then we have different lighting settings in here, make it a bit brighter. We've got the curb lights, the floor lights. And this has also got its own um, music system and speakers in here as well. We've got a cupboard at the back which has a bit of extra storage space as well so we get to hang a few bits of clothes up there. Only I uh, and Moss tend to use that to be fair. Everyone else just throws their clothes around everywhere. Um, this is a really cool feature as well. So we have, oh sorry, that's closed, it's open. So when we're flying down the motorway, um, I like to come in here and just get some fresh air and just chill out. I've got my VR headset, so I use, uh, I've got my Oculus Quest 2, which I bring with me, because I'm developing um, the War of Being computer game at the minute, so I do a lot of testing. Um, I've also got my, uh, my laptop rig, which is currently upstairs, set up for rehearsing, so I use Cubase to rehearse before the show. But normally I'm sat back here and I've been game designing in the back, and also I've got my... My workout vans, so uh, yeah, this is my like, my nice little safe spot. I also have uh, the bus guitar. If you ever want to have a little, little noodle around and don't want to get something out the back, that's the noodling guitar for noodling on. Okay, so we've been Tesseract. Check us out at tesseractband.co.uk and on socials, Tesseract Band generally is the handle. Uh, new album War Being is out now. You can listen to it on all streaming platforms. You can buy it on DVD, CD, DVD. Yes, you can on DVD because that's a special edition version. I slipped up there, but don't forget, correct. you can also play uh, the War of Being uh, VR and desktop game, which is on Steam at the minute in early access. Uh, we're developing the full game, so hopefully that'll be out at the end of 24, beginning of 25, and that pretty much wraps up our session. We've got to get ready for the show, so take it easy. <laughs> that makes no sense because we're in the <laughs> <laughs> we're sure the door and staying in. <laughs>